everyone, it's me again, VA Jesse or Jaslyn Lazada of Telecrew Outsourcing. For today's video, we're going to talk about manual dialers and auto dialers. If you have been following me for a while, I've mentioned before that I own a virtual staffing agency, Telecrew Outsourcing, and our company had been in the business of providing quality virtual assistants to different clients or businesses globally. And we offer cold calling, telemarketing, virtual assistance, lead generation, app on sales, customer service, and other admin related services. Most of our campaigns are app on sales for appointment setting. And some of the clients we have are startups or entrepreneurs that have not hired in a VA before. And one of the things that they usually ask is the dialer. If you are a newbie, a dialer is a software or a tool that a virtual assistant uses to call the local area or target market of the customers you will be prospecting. And for some reason, some clients are expecting that as a VA, the calling tool is already inclusive or that we should be providing this as part of our services. But it's not a requirement for you to do that, especially if you have multiple clients from different countries or if your client requires an auto dialer. It is usually not taken against you if you say clients usually pay for dialers. Now let's talk about manual and auto dialers. A manual dialer is a calling software used to call a list of customers and it's just a basic or a traditional calling tool where the caller or the agent dials from the list of customers manually one after another. With a manual dialer, the virtual assistant would either copy paste or type the phone number and then wait for the phone call to connect. Some uh, samples of manual dialers are Skype phone, Zoom phone, Ring Central, Call Hippo, etc. On the other hand, an auto dialer is a software used to call out a bunch of phone numbers one after the other. It can also let you pre-record a voicemail so you can leave a message if in case no one picks up or if of course if it gets connected um, the call will be routed to you so that it can talk to the person who answered the phone it can also let you take a pause review call logs schedule tasks and do many other things that you can't do using a manual dialogue most importantly, you can upload the entire list and call them using the auto dialing software and you need not to have it copy pasted anymore because it's going to automatically dial it, you know, continuously. So what are the differences between manual and auto dialers and why should you use one over the other? The manual dialer is typically way cheaper than the auto dialer, but since it is only a basic um, dialer or it has basic features, it's a lot slower than an auto dialer. You can also make more calls through an auto dialing tool versus manual calling software. The auto dialing tool also has many other useful features that can help a virtual assistant do his or her job more efficiently and effectively. So what dialer should you use then? It's actually up to you. It depends on your business setup, your budget, your calling campaign, your leads, and your target market. When I say you are, I mean your clients. <laughs> and if you're working for a client with a startup business, you can suggest starting with a manual dialer as you can easily scale up to an auto dialer later on. And if it's their first time doing outbound outreach, they typically do not have tons of leads anyway to dial. So using an auto dialer will not be practical as well. And I also know some clients who use a manual dial connected to a CRM over an auto dialer because they prefer it that way so that they would have the ability to review the leads first before contacting them to have a stronger prospecting approach. Now, if you are working for a client with thousand leads and who requires you um, to make like 100 to 300 calls per hour, then suggest using an auto dialer because making hundreds of calls per hour on a manual dial setup isn't feasible at all. 
Also, if your client requires you to do other tasks besides calling, let's say you're required to leave voicemails, send emails, texts, etc., then use an auto dialer instead. There can be more that you can do with auto dialer for sure. Don't worry because if your client has thousands of leads to call, they usually have the budget for a more expensive tool. I hope this video helps you fellow VAs and as well as the clients out there who want to know a little bit about hiring a virtual assistant from the Philippines. Thank you so much for watching and see you in my next video.